Hey guys, Star Search Creator here. So, uh, last time we sat here, we had an interesting talk, huh? So, today, I want to have a real conversation with you guys. I'm going to start doing this more. This is the evolved mind of Dark Search Creator. Enjoy. So I wanted this video to have a very artsy feel, a very different feel from my normal style videos, just a random vlog or, you know, different things of that nature. I wanted this to be a whole new perspective on the direction and feeling of the channel itself. So I wanted this video to be like absolutely perfect. I wanted to be completely satisfied with it by the time it was done. And I literally wrote out all of the papers that you see on the wall of the video myself uh, that night. And I literally, I, I wrote real things on them. And um, I just wanted the video to be perfect. And I wanted to set a new personal standard and a new direction and perspective on the channel itself. And I feel like I articulated that um, very well, and, um, yeah, I, I, this video turned out the exact way I envisioned it. So, I guess, supposedly, I left some ambiguity with the first part of the of the video, I wanted to conceptualize a scene where I was basically writing out ideas uh, for a new video, and essentially I was tacking up all of these ideas on the wall, and then I just fell unconscious uh, just because I was doing it so long. Um, and then I wake up and I go back to uh, the bed or the table or whatever you want to say it was on the side because you can't really see. And I pick up one more piece of paper and I look at it and I put it on the wall and I tack it and you can't see it till I walk away and that was the point. But I walk away and it says the return of Dark Seuss Creator if you couldn't see it. Uh, so that was the concept for the first part of the video. When, once I edited all of that on the laptop, all of the clips that were from my camera on the laptop, I had to upload them all separately to YouTube, unlisted, so that I could go on my account on my phone and then MP4 download all of the videos. That way, I had all of those tiny clips, those two, one, two, three second clips for the video, and I could edit it all on my phone. And to do this, I essentially spent every waking moment of my spring break editing through clips for this video on this crappy editing software called OpenShot on my laptop. And then I set up boxes 
uh, to suffice as a tripod for this stand just to film the video on my phone. Then I still had to edit all of the phone clips in. And then I went into the editing app, I put all of them in, and then I clipped up uh, small pieces of videos from blogs and things from my phone. And that, uh, that was how that one minute and 46 second part was formed. I, I put effort in the entire video. You have no idea how long it took me. But I put a lot of effort into that video because it was the, I felt that it was the pinnacle of the concept of their whole return because it was almost like a trailer and it was um, the filming process was was insane because i had to film things so many times like uh, like especially that clip where i woke up i filmed that a million times this was undisputably the longest and hardest video I've ever had to film or edit, uh, considering it took over a month to completely film and edit. But at the end of the day, to get this video perfect and to get it how I wanted it, because I, wasn't, I was tired of just putting out things I wasn't 100% happy with, I had to do that, and it took forever. So just to figure out what I was doing with it and how to do this correctly and to edit all those clips on that crappy laptop, it took all spring break to do. Now, the original return to YouTube for me was literally just gonna be coming back in my normal state of mind and my normal state of videos that I was just gonna move forward with that kind of consistency but then I started thinking and I had a lot of time obviously while I was off I started thinking I don't want to just have the normal comeback video so I want to make a perfect artsy beautiful video that I am actually satisfied with like I love all my other videos I'm satisfied with them but was I was I really because maybe in that state of mind I was content with what I had but I've been evolving and thinking so much and I've gained so much knowledge that I couldn't just move on with what I was doing. I wanted to move into a new direction. It's not just the return video. It's a f it's going to be quite a few videos moving along. This kind of set the playing field for those types of videos. So I decided to put together a bunch of clips from my phone my videos that I was recording on my phone while I was gone for that long period of time um, and I, there was so many good things on my camera and there was so many good videos on my phone as well so I needed clips from both and move it forward in that aspect I needed to make this video to set the bar for the rest of the videos or at least uh, a good portion of the newer videos that are gonna come out um, I'm gonna be making so many things so many so many videos but so many new genres of videos and so many new unseen things from me before like I was always uh, versatile and I, I've always been that way uh, with the channel but I have never, I, I, I want to branch out even more. I want to expand my arsenal 
and become even more versatile as a channel. And I've decided to work my, um, my, uh, I hate calling it this, but depression and problems into creativity. And I put a written thing on the wall that says pain equals creation. And not only did that make it look like there was more writing on the wall for the video, more papers on the wall, but it also was a reminder to me while I was editing on the computer or putting clips through or doing different things that I needed to channel my struggle and my issues into something positive. So I, I took my energy and put it into this video and, and, and put my energy into the thought of more videos like it. Um, I'm evoluting my thought every day and I'm evoluting ideas and concepts for the channel every day. My mind is only growing and the channel is only going to grow. Not only, I'm not talking about numbers right now. Numbers don't matter to me. As much as you guys mean to me and as much as it means to me to have what I have now, numbers don't matter in the aspect of my art. And this that's what it is for me. This is art to me. This is what I like doing. This is what I love doing. And this is essentially one of the only things that satisfies me or makes me even remotely happy like I, I'm a very creative person and I feel like I could utilize that more I've even deleted over 30 videos of mine that I felt weren't beneficiary to the projection of my current state of creative energy so this is the true return and the true evoluted mind of Dark Series Creator. Thank you.